Hello. In this video, we will display four examples of what I call protein pulp. On the left, we have a strand of DNA, just a single strand shown. Each DNA codon codes for an amino acid. These amino acids are often represented by either one letter or three letter codes. Here on the left is the DNA, and on the right, we have the corresponding one letter amino acid code. The DNA code is largely, but not entirely, universal in biology. We have used a slightly variant form. For more details on how our usage is different and the rationales for using the one that we have, uh, see the link in the upper right. Each line varies from the previous one by the mutation of a single DNA base, so that the process of moving from the first line to the last line is much like a series of single point mutations leading to a dramatic change in the genotype over time. Steps are only allowed if the protein on the right consists of legitimate words in the English language from one letter up to as many letters as there are encoded. So in poem number one, we evolve from alpha, the first letter of the Greek alphabet, to omega, the last letter of that alphabet. Poem number two goes from amino to acid, playing on the fact that proteins are composed of amino acids. Poem number three, from biology to primate, is a little longer, and this one goes for two screens, so two pages. Feel free to pause the video just to follow through the details, just so we don't make the video too long. Our fourth example is a little longer still, being that it takes up now three pages. So we go from wrench to pliers, and we note that wrench and a plier are both uh, hand tools. I hope you find this video interesting. I thank you very much for your kind attention. 
stay healthy, stay safe, and as always, have a good one. Stay warm too.